From Thanksgiving to Halloween, which is now just four days away, Boston Mayor Marty Walsh says trick-or-treating is allowed, but that people should be careful. And he offered some safety guidelines today. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live in Boston for us. And Louisa, there are a lot of happy kids out there tonight. Lisa, it's on. It's on, but you got to be safe, of course, and of course you can be creative, a lot like these guys are every single year. So that means washing your hands frequently if you're handling the candy, bringing hand sanitizer along for trick-or-treating, and Mayor Walsh recommends putting individually wrapped candies or bags of candies outside your house for the kids to pick up on their own. Look up, Henry. From ghoulish skulls to grinning pumpkins, Charlestown is decorated for Halloween, but the festivities will be different. I mean, Charlestown has the best Halloweens ever. In years gone by, the historic Boston neighborhood would be teeming with costumed kiddos for a Halloween parade. Are you a penguin or a doggy? Yeah. A doggy. Aww, yeah. Not a but a pandemic means little doggy Ebba will be trick or treating in a smaller pack. You know, Halloween's such a fun time for the little ones, and this is the first year that she's really understanding it and getting excited about it. So it's a little sad that we're not being able to do the big Halloween this year. And I think on Friday and Saturday, we're going to set up our own little couple houses to trick or treat. Unlike other cities like Lawrence that have outright banned trick or treating, Mayor Marty Walsh says he will not call it off. So if you want to, Take your kids trick or treating. You can if you if you feel that it's not safe. You don't. You shouldn't. The most important thing, of course, is wearing a mask uh, and being in small groups. And like anything else, experts say Halloween in the COVID era can be done safely with precautions. Not uh, having lots of people sticking their hands into uh, bags of uh, candy at the same time and then potentially contaminating each other. So if you roll by this Dorchester home, you can expect a side of PPE with your candy. I'm going to wear my mask and wear some hand gloves. and Just beware of crowding. Because we still got to live and we still got to, you know, try to make it as normal as possible for the kids. Okay, so this is my son's super cool astronaut helmet, but experts say... Halloween masks are no substitute for cloth masks, so definitely bring your mask along with you. We're live in Boston. Louisa Moeller, WBC News. I got to say, it's a good look, Louisa. <laughs>